and it's going to be the Jazz off the tip. Knocked away. And he lays it up and in. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. One twenty-five left in the first quarter of the game, and he comes up with a bucket. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Doris, a tough way for the Cavs to go out last year. Something to build on, though. Oh, there's no doubt, B.A. This is the first time back in the postseason since the LeBron days. They've improved every year, and the expectation is you take your lumps and you go further the next year. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. He drops it from range. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. To the middle. And it's rejected. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter here. Puts it up from 12. And another basket for Cleveland. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. And an emphatic jam on the lob. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Shot clock at six. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. The Cavaliers on top, up by one. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. And so it's Cleveland with it. And Grant, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A. In two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. On the floor for Utah, getting going in the second. And he makes a first. Well, we see the young star talent for the Cavaliers, Doris. But where do they need to improve? I think the big challenge is making sure you have quality depth. The East obviously has changed. It is so much tougher than it had been in the past. The back end of that rotation is proving so significant to your success. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. to the paint good on the shot well what a terrific possession attack in the painted area and it's Cleveland's ball the three ball fires in the triple pick works well there but the defense left a lot to be desired it takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player you've got to want to work 
thought the screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Alley oop up top, hammer it home. Woo! I just love that alley oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Inside. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. There's 42 seconds left in the second. To the inside. To the left side wing. Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? And that one is hammered home! B.A., I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. The Cavaliers leading. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Six to shoot. Second chance effort. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! They credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. They took control in the second quarter, ending the half up by six. Kenny, your thoughts. How are the Cavaliers playing? Well, Ernie, you got to love the way they're getting stopped. I mean, the defense works only if all five guys are playing and attached to a string. When one guy moves, the other has to. Elite, physical, tough, engaged level. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's great that basketball has become such a worldwide sport, Doris. The talent in the NBA has never been better. I couldn't agree more, B.A., and great competitors, no matter what, want to play against the best regardless of where they come from. Look at the MVPs. Giannis with multiple wins in that category. Nikola Jokic with back-to-back -back MVPs. I love it. The better the competition, the greater the level of play. Well, this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. So on the floor for Utah. Down low. And he jams it home with authority. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Fires for three. The rebound by the Jazz.
catches it. Sinks the tray. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Oh, there's the alley. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Jazz. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. So both teams changing it up here. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. And there's the drive. Ooh, powered down with both hands. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. With one on the clock. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for Utah. Number 22. At the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Perfect from the line this time. Well, this is why you run your offense through him in important situations. You know he's going to deliver. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Cavaliers ahead. The Jazz leading by a point. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. arena both teams pouring it on offensively there's been a bit of a flurry here late and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two and the shot goes down and that was the right decision when you're in need of a bucket you go to your most trusted guys well you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots nice delivery there the shot won't fall He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Jazz. And he lobs it up top. Hammers the lob through. All night long, the defensive intensity just hasn't been there. They got to figure it out. <laughs> Good question. So far, these teams just seem content to shoot it out down the stretch. Cleveland calls timeout. They're losing by three. 
36 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? And it would be smart to go for a two-for-one right now. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. And what an unbelievable offensive performance from him tonight. I mean, it's been crazy fun to watch him just, just go off. I mean, the defense had no chance. He just kept scoring over and over again. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break. He told the team he has complete faith in them, saying we're right there. Now we just got to make that push and really take hold of the game. We can do that. To me, it looked like his players are on the same page with him. Guys, back to you. And Allie, thanks. And now they decide to foul intentionally. It's first. Second team foul. At the line for the Jazz. Number two. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It's the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Yeah, two-possession game now after knocking both of those down. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're down by five. It's time. 23 seconds left down. They've got to get a quick bucket here. They need to score, and they need to do it quickly, but it is still possible here. From deep, Utah with the rebound. And he commits the intentional foul. Number 35, the second, third team foul. At the line for the Jazz. Number two, taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. And so it's Utah with the W. The end of the they game. played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian A.